Marty is hooked up on a trolling fly now. I don't know if it's a real big one, but uh, I think it's a nice one. I'm turning the boat real hard. We're getting shallow here. We're just commenting. I noticed that the fish had started to elevate on the sonar screen. And it uh, seems to be a little more active right now, which is great. Okay, now I'll straighten this out for a Like that. There we go. All right. Get ready on the net. Nice fish. Good job. Whoa. Oh, yeah, you keep it. Look at that. Hang on, we're driving in a circle. There we go. We did the loop you. Now, check it out. So, not a lot of fish have been being caught out of here. Look at this guy's tail. It's starting to regrow. It's still worn right there. But that fish has probably been in here since November. So, that's great. Pull me a little line, Murray. <laughs> just pull it in? No, just pull it, pull it out, just grab it, pull it out of the reel. There you go. Very good. Woohoo! Ah, we're going good. Now that is a fish that he wanted that really bad. Look at that, got him on both hooks. So see, when I'm using a fly, cause there's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff back here to grab. That's just a piece of just random plastic worm. I'll put that treble hook over that and then kind of pin it in place with that for the guys that come in nipping at the bait. But uh, he wasn't nipping, he, that's cool. Kel Kellogg here. Welcome back to the channel. If you're not already a subscriber, please take a second to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. And that way you'll always know when I'm here on YouTube talking fishing tactics. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. I got a viewer question from Michael Dilbeck. Um, he's one of our longtime viewers, big supporter of the channel. And he asked me about putting a stinger hook on a trolling fly. And uh, that is a good subject because the fish you saw caught in the beginning of this video caught that on this fly right here with this big old gnarly treble hook acting as a stinger hook. Now, there's several different ways to put a stinger hook on a trolling fly. Uh, my favorite method is to take a ring eye hook, open the eye, slide that over the barb on the hook that you know the fly is tied on, and then pinch it shut. Well, I was out here trolling this fly and I was getting short strikes and I didn't have any of those hooks along. So I had to come up with a solution on the go, on the run, on the water. And this is what I came up with. I grabbed, let me turn this over so you can see it pretty well. I grabbed a number six red treble out of my rigging box. You should always have loose treble hooks and a bunch of, you know, different kinds of loose hooks in your rigging box. I grabbed that treble, I slid it over the hook that you know the fly is tied on and then i took a piece of plastic here in this case this is a piece of one of my trigger minnows and i pushed that on the fly's hook past the barb to kind of keep that treble hook in place now been running this all week been catching fish on it and uh, i've had several guys ask me well isn't that going to come off well i don't know probably it could but it hasn't come off yet here's the key you're gonna keep your line tight when you're fighting a fish. As long as your line's tight, you know, that hook is gonna pull right back into the bend of that, you know, the fly's hook, so it's gonna stay in place. And that piece of plastic right there, it kind of keeps it from moving around. It keeps it from getting, you know, down, down around the bend towards the barb. And for that to get off there, it's gonna have to come all the way around like that. So, long story short, 
that's working. It, it was, you know, something I came up with in a pinch. It hasn't come off. We've caught several fish on that fly and it's flat out working. So keep that in mind. When you're out on the water, if you're in a pinch, if you're getting short strikes on your trolling flies, you might want to add a stinger hook. Now, if I was using a smaller fly, I'd want to use a smaller hook. If I was using a bigger fly, I'd probably use a number four hook. So have a selection, always have a selection of loose hooks on your boat and be ready to solve a problem. You know, I came up again, I came up with that on the fly. That's kind of a joke because I'm holding a fly. When I came up with that on the fly, I grabbed one of my, my discarded trigger minnows, took my scissors, cut off a nice little chunk of the plastic, put the hook on, pinned it in place. And probably, I want to say 15 minutes later, we were yelling fish on when that big old rainbow came up and blitzed this fly. Anyway, I'm out of here for now. I'm just trying to give you innovative solutions to problems that you find out on the water. If you want some trolling flies, my magnum metal heads or whatever, get on over to fishhuntshoot.com you'll see all my tackle there and you can book a fishing trip with me if you want to learn the finer points of trout fishing firsthand here at Collins Lake while you're reeling in some big beautiful hard fighting rainbows book a day come on out fish with me ask questions let's have some laughs and you're gonna learn a bunch um, March April gonna be epic lake is full of fish we just got another load of lightning trout in the lake today this morning so we've got some great days ahead. My calendar is gonna fill up. We're gonna be offering kayaking trips too. So get on over to the calendar, book your spot now. Let's get out here on the water and yell, fish on baby. And hopefully we'll be doing it on trolling flies. Cause you know me, I catch a lot of big fish on those trolling flies. I'm Cal Kellogg.